Burton again. It's a huge, huge oh. kick. Oh, my goodness. That is the biggest kick I've seen. Have a look at this kick. Up it goes. He's a super boot. It's terrifying. <laughs> Matt, for the last couple of years, you've been terrorising fullbacks and wingers with your spiral bombs. It sometimes look like they're shot out of a cannon. I'm sure there's kids out there trying to perfect the Matt Burton spiral. Now, is there a part on the field where you wouldn't put a bomb up? Yeah, I think the best range would be between the 40 and 50. Comes back to Burden, who has a massive boot. If you break it down, what are the things important in putting up a, a good spiral bomb? I think the first thing would be your, your ball catch and the positioning of it. The less you can adjust it, the better. So you don't have to think about it as much, and it's just sort of a natural flow. I usually hold it so it's facing more upright. I think most people sort of hold it flat, but I feel like if I can hold it upright and then kick under it, it's going to go a lot higher. It's a Burton bomb. Some bloke working at NASA. Saying something just lobbed on the radar. <laughs> I've noticed that both feet are off the ground after you kick the ball. A lot of it's to do with the timing, isn't it? Yeah, I'm always trying to get as much power as I can through it. I feel like I'm getting my leg all the way through. That's when I feel like I hit him best, and that's where I get the most power from. OK, and you're looking at making contact with the right part of your foot and the follow-through where you get your power. Yeah, I think that comes next. All that stuff sort of flows in together you, where you're holding the ball, so you sort of want to bring it through with your foot, the angle of the footy, how high you hold it, and then obviously your follow-through. You want to get as much power as you can, so bring in everything together. Burton brings out a trademark. Torpedo spiral. That ball had incredible hang time.